Hey guys, welcome to this lesson. So in this lesson, we're going to practice what we learnt in the last lesson. So here we have a galvanic cell with tin, which is SN, and iron, which is FE. So we need to try to work out what is going to happen. So what we said is that you should find these on the table, okay? So we've got FE and FE2+, plus. so that's going to be over here. You might be saying, hey, but Kevin, I see a Fe over here. Yes, that is correct, but you've got to look for the correct one. Now, the correct one that we're using here is Fe2 plus and Fe. And so we've done that, and now we need to find the Sn and the Sn plus 2. And so that one is over here. Now, we need to know which one is going to oxidize and which one is going to reduce. So what we do is we look at these arrows that are going up along the sides of our table. And so on the right hand side of the table, we're looking for the one that is higher up. And so the two that are competing would be SN and FE. And so because FE is higher up, I'm going to keep that one circled. Then we got to look on the way down and we can see that SN plus two wins that. And so now we've circled everything there. And so now that is, well, this is how your reactions are going to work. The FE is going to go this way and the SN is going to go to the right. So the first reaction, it doesn't matter which one you choose, we can just say Fe is going to become Fe2 plus plus two electrons. The second one is going to be Se2 plus plus two electrons, giving us Sn. So notice that one of them goes from right to left and the other one goes from left to right. So we need to know the oxidation reaction and the reduction reaction. In our last lesson, we learnt about oil rig. And what we said is that oxidation is the loss of electrons and reduction is the gain of electrons. And so what we can see, if you did watch our lo the last video, you'll know quite well that this top reaction is an oxidation reaction because Fe is losing electrons. Okay, so that's going to be our oxidation reaction. Your reduction reaction is obviously going to be the other one, the SN2+, because that now, that SN2+, is gaining electrons. The cathode, well, the cathode is where reduction takes place. And so our reduction reaction is the SN, and so this one would be the cathode, so we'll say SN. The anode is where oxidation happens, and that'll be Fe. The oxidizing agent is the element or the substance that is reduced. And so we said that this SN2 plus is being reduced, and so that will be our oxidizing agent. The reducing agent is the substance that is oxidized, and so that will be Fe. To calculate EMF, we said in the last video that you should always take the, the voltage value of your cathode, and you minus the voltage value of your anode. And so the cathode, we said, is the Sn, so we go to the table where that was. And for Sn, we can read off the voltage value as negative 0.14. Then we say minus, and then the anode was the Fe, and so that's going to be negative 0.44. So there's going to be a double negative over there. And so if you work this out, you're actually going to end up with a positive 0.3 volts. Now cell notation... I wonder if you guys can remember that from the last lesson. Well, we said that it always follows the following format. It's the anode, which is typically a solid. Then it's the anode solution, so that's the liquid part. Then it's the cathode, oh, that should be a double line to represent the salt bridge. Then it's the cathode solution, and then it's the cathode, which is typically in the solid phase. So now we can go fill that in. So the anode, we said, was iron. The liquidy part is the Fe plus 2. Oh, and I must show the phases. Solid, aqueous for liquids, or for um, aqueous solutions. Then the cathode solution is the Sn plus 2. And then the cathode, and that should be aqueous. And then the cathode is Sn, and then we say S for solid. So that went fairly quick. So let's do another example. If you want, you could pause this video and try this one yourself. So here we have chromium and we've got copper so what we do is we go find them on the table and so I find chromium over here 
and copper 2 plus is this one over here. I then look for the one that's highest up on the right hand side, which is chromium. I then look for the one that's lowest down on the left hand side, which would be Cu2+. And that is the most important thing that I need. Because now, the reactions are simply going to go in the direction. So, so for example, this one will go in that direction, and this one will go in that direction. So for our first reaction, I'm just going to use the chromium one. We're going to get that taking place. And for the copper one, it's going to go from left to right. The oxidation one is going to be this one here, because there we can clearly see that this chromium is losing electrons. And so that's going to be Cr become Cr3 plus plus 3 electrons. The reduction reaction is going to be the second one, because this copper 2 plus is adding electrons. And remember, reduction is gain of electrons. Your cathode is where reduction takes place. That's where the copper is happening. And so your, your cathode is going to be this element here, and that's copper. Your anode is going to be this electrode over here, which would be chromium. Your oxidizing agent is the substance that is reduced, and so that will be Cu2+. The reducing agent is the substance that is oxidized, and so that will be Cr. We're nearly done. So to work out the EMF, we know that that's going to be E cathode minus your anode voltage. And so your cathode, we said, was the copper. And so that's going to be this one. And so if we read that off the table, that's going to, oh, not that one. We don't want that one. We want to use the copper 2 plus 1. And so that's going to be 0, 0,34 minus, now we're looking for the chromium one, which is over here. And that's negative 0, 0,74. So that's going to be a double negative. And if you had to go work this out, I think you'd get about 1.08 volts. Cell notation. Well, we know that that's always the anode, but the, 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 the anode electrode first, then the solution, then the cathode solution. Oh, I should have said solution over here and solution over here, and then the cathode electrode. So the anode is our chromium. So we'll say Cr in the solid phase. Then at the liquid will be Cr, oh, I'm doing a double line there, it's not the salt bridge. And that'll be plus 3, and that's the aqueous phase. Then we've got the Cu plus 2, which is aqueous. And then we've got copper, which is in the solid phase. And that's it, guys. I'm sure by now you guys are doing just fine with these galvanic cells. Thanks for watching.